All right, guys. One common question we get asked is how do I repair my LED strip because the section is faulty? Uh, there are various different faults, as with anything technical, um, but there are some easy ways to replace stuff and there's some more tricky ways uh, that require soldering. The way I'm going to show you today is one of the easier ways. Um, this LED strip is faulty, it has a faulty section. Uh, so to find out which section it is, uh, I'm just going to plug it in. And I'm going to just cycle through all the colours available to me. I'm going to start with red. So across the whole strip, you can see that we have red in every section. And the section that I refer to is just an area between the two cut points. Uh, if there is a problem with one LED, you would have to replace the whole section. The green is fine, it lights up from start to finish. The blue lights all the way up round to here. And if you look closely, you can see that there is a resistor actually missing. So that means there's no electricity going through that section in blue, so it will not light up. So we'll come back to that. I'm just going to check the white, just to make sure. And the white is all good. So back on blue. Let's address this section. Now in previous videos I have uh, resoldered in joints uh, that have had dry solder joints. Uh, but in this video I'm going to show you how to use these. Now this is a 12mm RGBW tape to tape connector. So what it allows me to do is just cut that section out and replace it with this section. I've already attached one to one end, but I've left this end so I can show you how to do it. I wouldn't recommend cutting into LED tape with the power on. It's not because it's going to hurt you, it's only 24 volts, but you could damage the tape itself. So. I'm going to just weigh it down either side of the section so that I know which section is the offending section to cut out. You could also mark it with masking tape so that you, you are aware when the power goes out. So I'm going to unplug it now and just using a sharp set of scissors I'm going to cut straight across the cut points to cut the offending section out. So that's the section missing the blue resistor that can now get recycled. So I'm now left with the start and the end and this piece that I need to put in. So with these, all you do, just slide your tape in underneath the contact pads and push down until you hear it click. And you do the same all the way along. So you just slide your tape in, underneath the contact pads, push down until you hear it click. Same again. Fully located, push down as you hear it click. So that's a new section that I've just put in using tape to tape connectors. Now we need to make sure that it works, so I'm just going to knock the power back on. And boom, there it is. We have blue.